Hey guys, welcome back to my Digimon World Let's Play. I don't even know if I want to call this a Let's Play or a Walkthrough. I, I actually don't know. I'm just playing the game. So today, we are going to go to Freeze Land. You know, I, I wasn't sure about going to Freeze Land. Not in general, but... It, here's the thing. You end up in the middle. And you end up in an intersection of three different pathways to go if you take Bergermon at to travel with if you take her traveling services basically i thought to myself you know what i could just go to the great canyon the to that is at the entrance near freeze land and just you know go over there for cheaper why spend 2000 bits when i could spend 1000 but i want to cut time in this video because i don't want to go walking around the environment that I, I really don't need to be in like i i don't want to just walk around and make it part of the footage. Okay, because there is a there is something I want to go through. There's something I want to show you today. Ugh. Not what I wanted to do, but uh, I guess the quicker I get him out of my way, the the sooner I can get to what I want. Oh yeah, this will be super quick. You know what? Maybe I could toss someone. Okay, because there should be... I mean, I hope it's here. Sometimes you have to look carefully to make sure that you can get access to an event. I believe it is here. It might be this way. And, I, and there is a glitch in the game where you can go to a part of Freeze Land that was not properly programmed. Let's see. Should be down here. Hmm. Okay, now I'm actually not sure. Because I remember it used to be around here. Huh. I hope this doesn't take too long. L give me about a minute. I, I know I can find it. Here we are. This is it. I wanted to show you guys Waymon. A beach cave. So yeah, in this game, Waymon's still a giant. I didn't know he, that he was blind, that he has no eyes. Honestly, I thought he did. Just They were probably just obscure. Anyway, yes, we are taking we Waymon as a travel companion to the secret beach cave. And you'll never guess who we're going to find in here. Remember that talk about mean guys earlier? Oh, it's better that I show and tell. Better show than tell. That's right. If you can tell by the music, it's the Ogremon Bandits. The new Ogre Fortress. Yeah, Gabumon's retreating. One Gabumon is retreating so that Waru Seedramon can fight in its place.
Why do they call it? Why does he call him Master Waru Sidramon? I thought Ogremon was in charge of the gang. And where the hell did Waru Sidramon come from? I feel like he's a Digimon inserted from just straight out of nowhere. Yeah, I'll go for the weakest link. Now I'll turn my attention to the second weakest creature. Oh, this is making my job a lot easier. Wonder if I can go for the double knockout, the double blow. You know, one of the flaws in this game that I can appreciate is the Digimon's AoE. Like, if you're Ogremon and you perform an attack, you're going to cause friendly fire, like Nick said. I mean, I hope they fix that in next order. Giga Scissor Claw. Okay, good. Okay, awesome. I still have a ways to go here. Oh, okay. Even better. I've trapped him. He can't move. And then... Now, and now I can't move. I want to learn that attack. That is not a water technique. And if it is, it's probably the strongest one. Clear up some item storage space. Okay. Now I can win. Yeah. Because there's a treasure in this cave, I believe. There's probably more than one. Spoilers for anyone who wants to know. Ogremon gets away. Wow, Waymon, thanks for getting him further away from me. Oh, I love that remix of the Got Him to the City theme, and it, it just sounds so depressing or really negative. Well, yeah, he tricked you. There was no way you could keep him bound to his word. Let's see. Straight to the city, I'll give you a ride. I'll go back into a secret beach cave. Oh, uh, wait. Wait, I thought he was supposed to give me a ride back to the city. What happened? Uh, okay. Let's use the autopilot. Well, that happened. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk to Waymon a little bit. Yeah, um, do, like, clearing the bandits out of his cave allows him to come to the city, and he becomes, uh, a somewhat travel provider like Bergeron, but only to two places, uh, both of which cannot be reached by normal means alone. Uh, we're going back to the beach cave to get his treasure, and then the, the other location will be interesting. And look, here is the foreshadowing. Ogre. The fortress.
Let's see. Misty Egg. Let's see what it does. Digivolve to Digitomamon. There doesn't appear to be anything else here. Okay, I can't talk to him for some reason. There we go. There's a lot of other places still left to check out. The problem is, again, my Digimon's lifespan. But maybe I should stop uh, acting like that's an excuse. It's sounding more like a broken record at this point. So I need to go buy an autopilot and I need to put this Digivolution item. Yeah, you can Digivolve to Digitomamon with the Misty Egg. So I'm going to put this in the item bank. I wonder how much Agumon can store. Misty Egg. And everything else is good. Okay, awesome. Let's talk to Gigi Mon. And then we're going to head out to Factorial Town. The place of a ferry boat. 29. Okay, we'll go to the shop, pack up on some items, and then we will go to Factorial Town to explore. Alright, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Yeah, a lot of this game just revolves around travel and battling. That's what it seems to be. Okay, now let's prepare. We can sell the rest of this, or at least three of these. Bye. I wish I could learn how many I have in all. And, oh, we gotta get the autopilot. Where is the autopilot? I feel like I should get one more or two more so I don't have to keep going back best thing you can do for yourself is make sure you have more than one of these items. I do want to take a look at Shelmon's newspaper real quick, just to see if there's any more stories. Nope, that's it. I suppose I can rest a little bit. Just one, so it doesn't seem like I'm battling constantly. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. But it looks like I'll have to do Factorial Town, like a good clean sweep of it in the next part. Actually, maybe there was no need for this. Because Metal Greymon... Ooh, gotta be careful. Okay, let's give him something to eat. He is still hungry. I'll just... Nah, nah. I'll give him the mushroom. I see no need to waste the sirloin if I can make a profit from it. Alright. You know what? Before we go, I'll just sleep here. Oh, and I gotta go get the new sirloin from Vegemon before I go to the factorial town.
Factorial Town. We're gonna check out the environment. I hope I saved the game. Because I had two chances to, and I probably did not. Okay, in the Factorial Town, if you've watched the Digimon Adventure anime, you might see a few familiar things. One of them being Gardramon. This battle might take a little longer, so I'll I'll try to finish as quick as possible. Yeah, um, I'll try to finish quickly. If not, then I guess I'll continue the battle in the next video. Attack! Yeah, this is not going well. I like how that other guard German is just paralyzed. And I have to be careful, these guys are pretty good for, um, for Digimon that cannot be recruited to the city. Okay, there we go. Giga Scissor Claw. Okay, go. And he did it! Let's see if I learned a new technique. I mean, I have a machine Digimon, so this is, this is the perfect place to learn. Power crane. Awesome. You know what? I'm going to go back and save. And I want to equip power crane. Just to try it out. Can't wait to see this in action. So far, I have two metal techniques. Out of nine. Alright, I'm going to go back, hit save, and then be on my way to making a new video. Actually, you know what? I can just stop here. See you guys in the next part.